International Memorial Day Blending Conference, May 2023. General Subject Knowing, Experiencing and Enjoying Christ, as Revealed in Philippians. Message 1 Taking Christ as everything to gain Him, by denying ourself, and turning to our spirit. Day 1 Outline Roman number 1 Christ is the desire of God's heart. Capital A. God's heart's desire is, that every person, every matter and everything in the universe, would express Christ. When everything is headed up in Christ, there will be absolute peace, and harmony, and everything in the universe will express Christ. Capital B. We exist for the expression of Christ, we preach the gospel, for the expression of Christ, our work is for the expression of Christ, and the church is for the expression of Christ. Capital C. Christ is the reality, of every positive thing in the universe. Number 1. The entire universe is a great painting, drawn by God that speaks of Christ, describes Christ, and is for the expression of Christ. Number 2. Daily, we eat and drink Christ. Weekly, we have completion and rest in Him. Monthly, we experience a new beginning in Him. And throughout the year, He is our joy and enjoyment. Morning Nourishment Matthew 3.17 and behold, a voice out of the heavens, saying, This is my Son, the Beloved, in whom I have found my delight. Galatians 1 15 through 16 But when it pleased God, to reveal his Son in me, that I might announce him, as the gospel among the Gentiles. As the elders and co-workers go on with the Lord, they should become more and more clear, that God's heart's desire is only Christ. The desire of God's heart, is entirely centered on Christ. God's intention is to work to such an extent, that Christ will be expressed in all things, fill all things, and even be all things. Perhaps you may say, I know, that our food and clothing should glorify Christ. This type of speaking is common in Christianity, but it is too shallow. You also may say, since food and clothing refer to our living, this means, that our living, our working and our serving, should be for Christ, but this is not what we mean. Rather, we should express Christ himself, even in matters related to food and clothing. God's heart's desire, is, that every person, every matter, and everything in the universe, would express Christ. Every positive item in the universe, should express Christ himself. Today's reading. Colossians 1.19 says, In him, all the fullness was pleased to dwell. Verse 18 speaks of Christ, having the first place in all things. We exist for the expression of Christ, we preach the gospel, for the expression of Christ, our work is for the expression of Christ, and the church is for the expression of Christ. The Old Testament types and the Old Testament commandments, are explanations of Christ. God commands, that we keep the Sabbath, and Christ is the reality of the Sabbath. God commands, that we be holy, and Christ is the reality of holiness. Every sentence in the entire Bible, points to the reality of Christ himself. The entire universe, even every tree, flower and blade of grass, speaks of Christ. The beauty of a flower, expresses the beauty of Christ, because the reality of beauty is Christ himself. The sweetness of a piece of fruit, 
expresses the sweetness of Christ, because the reality of sweetness, is Christ himself. Hence, the Bible uses many flowers and fruits, to show forth many aspects of Christ. Righteousness is Christ. Holiness is Christ. Purity is Christ. Patience is Christ. Power is Christ. Suffering is Christ. Everything in the universe, is an expression of Christ. The universe is a great painting, drawn by God. In this painting, various things, matters and persons describe Christ. The relationship between a husband and a wife, is a description of Christ. The relationship between a master and a servant, is a description of Christ. The relationship between a father and a son, is a description of Christ. Today, our vision of Christ must be so clear, that we see, that Christ is not only the desire of God's heart, but even more the reality, of all positive things, matters and persons. In our gospel preaching, we should preach Christ. In our messages, we should speak Christ. In our administration of the church, we should administrate. So that Christ can be ministered into people, and then be ministered into others through them. The Bible tells us in many places, that we should be holy, loving, righteous and patient. These things are shadows of Christ, who is the reality. When the Bible speaks of patience, it means, that we should turn to Christ, and live out Christ, who is the reality of patience. It is wrong to think, that we must try our best to love others, because the Bible says, that we should love others as ourselves. The love which the Bible speaks of, is actually Christ. Also, God wants us to be honest, by living out Christ. It is the same, with respect to righteousness, sincerity and holiness. God wants Christ to be our righteousness, sincerity and holiness. This is the end of day one of message one.